Today is the day. It's a big day. It's a special day. I can't wait anymore. I, I've, I've been waiting for what feels like ages for Bernie to, to fill up on his leaves, to complete his quest and to give away his Omega gift. But it's going very slow. It's going very, very slow. And I really want to get some more leaves placed. This canopy is still looking extremely bare. I mean, that's, that's the only area <laughs> where, where we've had leaves this entire time. Now, if my calculations are correct, I need about 1 million leaf blocks to finish this canopy. And that's a lot of leaves. That's, 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 well, we, we know how much that is. It's Bernie's full stomach. It's 10 double chests of oak leaves. And I mean 10 double chests full of Schalke boxes of leaf blocks. A lot of leaves. Now, originally my plan was to wait until Bernie had completely filled up with leaves. However... I, I, I don't see a reason why we why we can't get started because I may my we know from the past that my maths may not always be correct so I think that's what we're gonna do I have a bunch I, I'm gonna count this out 15 and a half ish I have 15 and a half ish boxes of leaves and I'm curious I am very curious to see how far that will take us. I mean, in theory, my maths could be completely off. That's happened before. I think what I want to do is start with this branch here and see how far we can get with the leaves that we have. I am leaves. Hello. <laughs> this is... I'm, I'm, I'm procrastinating, okay? This is, this is such an Omega task. It's going to be a long day. Ooh, look what I found crawling inside my tree. Well, hello there. <laughs> How am a zombie wearing a monocle? <laughs> Makes me a smart zombie. <laughs> Sorry, st still procrastinating. It got worse. I can't believe I haven't fixed this hole. Definitely a very important task to do right now. Like much worse. Sir, excuse me. Would you like some leaves, sir? Here's a boat. We shall leave this place behind. I don't want to be rude, Ron. But it seems like you may have you may have been gaining some weight. Oh, oh, very, very quickly up there. Come with me. You're really staring at that leaf, aren't you? I've got something to show you. Check it out, Leaf Man. Do you not like it? <laughs> you are pretty hideous, Leaf Man. <laughs> okay, okay. I did. I did eventually. Start placing down the leaves. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna take a short break in that time lapse because when you spend an awful lot of time on one task, the world keeps moving and things appear in your base. Yes, Carl, I got a plan. You in? It will help a lot. <laughs> Hello? Now, it doesn't say who this is from, but I mean, it's, it's, it's magenta. On spruce, I've I've seen that before. Dress monster, hello. <laughs> also, I seem to have got a free sample. Free sample cards of Impulse XP. Be beacons back in stock. I wonder if this one beacon is for free as well. I have a very magenta sign in my base asking me if I'm in. Is this your doing? <laughs> I shall I shall take this beacon. I think it's it's mine. Maybe. Okay. To your question if I'm in, I say okay lol. 
This may be a massive mistake. I'm not entirely sure. Can I get a brief, please? <laughs> I mean, my tree leafing. New term, leafing. Well, she's got a plan and I've got a chair. Yes. <laughs> hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Oh, hello. What are, you, what are you doing? You could... There. I, I did not make Seriously? you a chair. But now, yes. Okay, thanks. I'm going to get off of this dirt because, to be honest, I prefer the uh, floor. I want to make somewhere safe because it isn't safe in the never. Oh. And I was hoping that maybe you might want to help considering our portals are so close. What do you think? A little, a little nether hub? A never hub. Yeah, because we don't have one yet. We're just like in a mess. I have said for a long time that I'm going to build a nether tunnel. So, I mean, okay. yes, I, I, that makes sense. I do I... need a nether tunnel. So if we do this, we should definitely do it down where the new hub is. Because yeah. what I have to do I... is I fly through the, the, the tunnel and then I have to dive down. What is the matter? It's f they're they're having a good walk. Hello. Oh, they're not gonna come after me, are they? No, they're oh. fine. Oh. Being in the Nether with stress monster without safety is hilarious because she is, she is genuinely mega scared of the Nether. Anyway, we hung out for a while and we agreed upon a design which I'm really really excited about for a Nether tunnel. My task for the collection of stuff and things is going to be crying obsidian. And gravel, which which both both are quite easy to get from a piglin farm, which I have. And she is going to take care of the collection of black concrete, which is a bit is a bit grindy. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I got I feel like I got a good deal on the collection of resources for this for this hub and, and mega tunnel. Anyway, as I said, I did actually do more leaves, so we should get back to the time-lapse. Two days and 30 boxes of leaves and I'm down to the final 32. This has been, this has been an Omega pro progress and I have learned that it takes a lot of time to get it right. Like look at this, I, I keep going over areas over and over again and it's just, it's just, I've, I've missed areas or I'm not happy with how it looks. It is, it is one of those things that seems absolutely never ending. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. That's all the leaves that I had and the extra leaves that I have collected in the past two days. I am leafed out and exhausted. Absolutely exhausted of placing down leaves. But take a look at this. So when I started, I started right over here and one, two, three branches have got their outer leaves placed. That's incredible. And we've even got different biomes in the, that's how big, that's how, that's how Omega this tree really is. That is looking so cool. I am really, really happy with that. Now there's one thing that I've thought about a lot while doing this and that is to not place the leaves too far in because I want this to sort of have a canopy that eventually goes all the way over and so I have had to measure and be very careful with how I place the leaves down but take a look at this view! That's, that's actually starting to look 
a lot more completed since the leaves. I mean, yes. Yes, they, but that those are those branches are in fog. They could technically not be rendering in the leaves. This is looking absolutely fantastic, though. I am really, really happy with this. And granted, there are spots that I didn't get with my mega tactics, which involves me flying up to the leaves and placing leaves from underneath, just like that. I've died to fall damage six times. <laughs> Now I've said it before, but this thing in the dark is something else. I can't wait till I light up all of the branches just like that. That being said though, it's also very, very dangerous. Excuse me, sir, but you're not a leaf. Oh, <laughs> hello. What? Oh, passive security measurements. As I've been leafing this up, something else has appeared in my base. This thing, which I gotta be honest, at first I didn't quite understand what this was. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that is an UNO reverse card. I gotta google it real quick. Yep, that's definitely a, a pixel version of an UNO reverse card. And that has me a bit worried. Mm, although, I don't know what worries me the most. A green head with the universe reverse card on a stick or the universe reverse card on its own. As per the challenge, here is a present for Mambo and Escal. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. Uh, he has, because one of the, oh, it is, it, green. I'm, I'm losing my words. We gave him a challenge to give a present for Iskal and another challenge to give a present for Mambo, didn't we? And I, I by the, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that this is a, a friendly type type of present. I does say for Mambo and Iskal, which means that we should probably both be here, to be honest. And Mambo is not online at the moment. I believe a sign is in order. I really, really like what Mambo has done to the inside of this, of this, of this base. And, oh, there's more down here. Oh my goodness. This is cool. This is really, really cool. There are so many chests here. And they're all, <laughs> they're all empty. Oh, no, f found one with some stone in it, and another one with, uh, seems, seems not very, very, very efficient to store a little bit of stone in every single chest. But, whatever spins your boat, Mambo. Spins your boat. Is, is, that, a, is that a saying? There's also a dispenser with a nose. <laughs> Hello, Mambo. We have got a present outside our bases. I think we need to open it together, to get her, <laughs> it's from Grian. <laughs> yep, yep, now we, we, we'll have to, we'll have to wait for Mambo for, the, for that Uno reverse card. Now since Mambo is not online and I am completely leafed out both material wise and in my head at the moment, we're gonna move on. We got another very important thing to take care of, crying obsidian doesn't really look sad does he <laughs> he just just looks angry and now i have to take all of this obsidian down just just because i wanted to to show you that <laughs> i wonder if there's anyone that plays minecraft and enjoys mining obsidian surely surely, surely there must be someone who loves just going to the end and standing there mining the obsidian pillars it's a very weird hobby to be fair Anyway, since I said okay lol to Stress Monster's plan of a mega nether tunnel and a hub, I need to do some research. We need to head over to my piglin farm because I have no idea how much crying obsidian I have at the moment. I mean, I have a lot of random stuff here. That's, that's so much salt sand. I do have some gravel, that's good. To be honest, a lot less than I thought I had. Where is the crying obsidian? Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's... That's not gonna cut it, is it? Oh, I thought I had a lot more than that. Oh, no. Hello, Brian's. Have some gold, Brian's. <laughs> that, I, I love that. I love that effect. And I love hearing those droppers going off. Wait a minute. Blackstone? Oh, oh, I just, I, I've just realized something. 
the the trades for Brian's changed in 116.2, didn't they? Yep, and I completely forgot about that, but it doesn't seem to be that much of a difference. The change is that Magma Cream has been removed and Spectralero has taken its place. You can now also apparently get water bottles. Hello, <laughs> I'm thirsty. And Blackstone has replaced Glowstone, which I suppose Glowstone, Glowstone was really good to get from this, but it may, I, I guess it may have been a little bit OP. And besides, I really like, I really like the fact that you can now renew and automate Blackstone. So I guess all I have to do to update this is to put that filter where the Glowstone was and remove that for Spectral Arrows. It's, it's quite, quite a cool change, to be honest, to have Spectral Arrows because well, usually they're they're just too much of a bother to craft. To be honest, now you can, now you can get them for free. Well, if you have an Omega Gold Farm, which I I have, I have noticed a slight problem with the system. Some items skip their filter and make it all the way to the end, which makes me believe that we may be burning a lot of valuable items. Yep, we definitely are. I've seen Crying Obsidian going into that fire over there. Now, to be honest, this room is a mega mess anyway. So I think I think that at some point I should just probably rebuild the entire thing and move it to another place where I can deal with items a lot better because yeah this, this is just this is what what even what's even in the, the hello diamond well that was a nice surprise I wonder if there's any other treasures hidden in here little brian hello oh my goodness and my original dio burner yes i hadn't lost it and my second dio burner how come they both ended up in here just just randomly yeah, I definitely think that I need to fully reconsider this at some point. But I'm really, really eager to get this nether tunnel up first and to get the nether hub together with, with stress monster up first. And maybe even link in some of the other hermits that live in the jungle. That's quite a good idea, actually. A jungle hub pass of doom. Now, I did promise stress to have crying obsidian and gravel for her by the next episode. And since I didn't have that much... I wonder if there's any the, this is this is this is still not made on the sides. I wonder if there's any shop selling crying obsidian in the shopping district. Now I've had a good look around and not even the barge sells crying obsidian. I mean this shop literally sells every it, it's it sells flower pots. <laughs> like this shop literally sells everything it feels like. But it doesn't sell Crying Obsidian, which means that there's a business opportunity. But more stressingly also means that... What? 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 Hello? Was I just showered in honey? <laughs> but more stressingly also means that I need to do a lot of bartering. I, I, I think that... Stress is probably expecting around four or five full Schalke boxes of Crying Obsidian. And I, I don't even have five stacks. We have a little bit of a problem. I have once again lost my gold box. Because there is no way, there's no way I spent a full Schalke box of gold blocks since I crafted that up. Which feels like that was very, very recently. Where would I have put it? Pretty sure I just looked through everything over here and didn't see any gold. Oh no. Think, Eskal, think. It's gone. It's completely gone. I have looked absolutely everywhere. And I hate to admit it, but it looks like I have zero gold is there any way to make myself better at not <laughs> not losing things oh i can't believe this well i guess there's only one thing to do and that is to spend a lot of time in here 
AFK. So I guess that's gonna do for today. I got a lot of gold to collect and a lot of crying obsidian to collect. I am really really excited to build this mega nether tunnel and I'm really happy with the amount of leaves, nay the omega amount of leaves placed in today's episode. Before, before I let you go though I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you to everyone who checked out my merchandise store. I've got so much good feedback and I'm so so happy that you all seem to like it. Also, hello, hello. If, if I could make enchanted glowing t-shirts like this, I, I definitely would. I got a lot of requests to get this resource pack that I use to, to use these t-shirts in game. So I'll put that down below in the description as well. But anyway, as I said, that's gonna do it for today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I'll see you dudes in the next episode.